Hey y'all, it's Bella. Welcome back to the lab. So today I wanted to show you that algae transfer process that I was talking about in the last video. I had all that media that I made in the last video and I'm going to now transfer my old algae that's already grown on old media to new media. Welcome back to the algae room. So what I have to do, I have to do all these, this rack, this rack, this rack, and this rack. All right, so we're back under the clean bench here. I pulled the rack out. I'm not gonna pull them all out at the same time just to um, reduce unnecessary light exposure. So this is my setup. I have a rack for, as I'm going through them, I'll put the old ones here and the new ones here. And then I have my flame. I'll turn on the blower in a minute, you know, it's loud. And then I have all the new media I made in the last video. I actually had a little hiccup with my beautiful slants here. So I did check on them earlier today. And some of them, because they sat in the fridge for, um, a long time <laughs> they filled with water in the inside actually so I didn't want to take the chance of contamination so I just threw them out so I'm hoping that I have enough because I didn't count or anything so this is how this is going to go I have my slant that is going to be transferred I'm going to be using that loop and then I have a fresh made slant so what I'm going to do is I'll carefully remove the tops of each place them upside down and then I'm going to flame my loop kill any bacteria on there and then before I go into the scent that needs transferring I'm gonna go into the new one first to cool my loop down because if that heat hits that algae it's gonna die instantly <laughs> okay we don't want that so I'm gonna cool my loop down and then I'll just collect a little bit of the algae spread it onto the new slant and I'll flame that loop again place it here for safety not to burn this tube or anything. Top my tubes back up, write the strain name, the mutant, and the date, and that's it. And then I'll move on to the next one. First of all, let me say, you can accuse me of all the things you know that you are guilty of. And I see that it is easy for you to blame everything on me. If that's the case, I should go So as I'm going through the racks, I'm going to start rotating them. So this will be the newest, oldest ones. And then these are the oldest, oldest ones. So I'm actually going to take this one. You can see like they're brown in there. They're dead. So this one's going to go into the biohazard. Okay, y'all, it is, I'm not done. It's after 9.30, but I'm 18 slant short anyway, so I'ma just um, stop now. I got three racks of the five done. So I'ma just come back tomorrow and make some more slants and finish it off. Honestly, I have a um, presentation in the morning that I haven't even finished making. So girl, it's time to wrap it up and we will reconvene tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the lab. I know I said I would come back the next day, but it's like a week later because of the snowstorm. So I don't think my building lost power, so I think everything's fine, so. <coughs> mm. <coughs> it's like 40 degrees outside, so it's my first time coming outside in like a week. So what I want to do is I just want to check my cultures for growth, make sure they're okay, and then I, like I said, I have to make some more slants and finish my transfers. I can see that my liquid cultures have grown, so that's good and they're fine. Now here is where I need to make sure that um, the growth looks good. I wanna go through these. So this one grew, but it's actually contaminated, so I'll have to go back and do a few. That's what I was scared of with that water collecting in the fridge. But of course, I still have the ones that look amazing, so that's good.
And that's how you know you're getting good at this one. You can just eyeball and weigh your stuff. You don't have to use a little spatula. You don't have to use these little spatulas. You just, yeah. Okay, I've been doing this a long time. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna put y'all on my little trick. So one of my slants that I need for my experiment has actually died. I didn't get good growth from the slant that I made. So thankfully I had a liquid culture that started growing over the week that we were storming in. So my little trick here is I'm gonna put a little bit in this little micro centrifuge tube, centrifuge it down, and then I'll be able to harvest the kind of solid algae and be able to put it on the slant. So what I realized here was that my loop was too big to fit to the bottom of the microcentrifuge tube so I had to reshape it and then of course I flamed it after. and y'all see me transferring early in the video so once they dry i'm just going to finish the transfer and i don't want to bore y'all so i'm just going to end the video here so if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i definitely have one more of these coming soon because it's already filmed i just have to edit it but until next time i'll see you guys bye